Hi, this is Carl. Welcome back to this video in the Rotary Tool Series. If you've got any questions or concerns, shoot me an email at scrollsawvideo at gmail.com or leave a comment in the section below. This video, we're going to be going over something that I've never seen before and I hope that I can show you something new on this one. Uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. Okay, here are some grinding sharpening stones. And you can see the different types of wear and tear that are on these. For instance, this one, I'll hold this one up close. And this one has a little bit of wear and tear on it. This is the same one. And you'll notice the wear and tear on this one. Now these right here, this is how it starts out. Let me get it to focus in. That's a new one. This one has, looks like silver paint on it. This one has completely lost its, its point at the top, the squareness on it. So that's pretty heavily, heavily used. Now check this one out. I forget what I used this one on, but it is pretty well jacked up. I'm trying to get that to focus in better. Come out some. You can see it has the little divot in the top, just like this one. You'll notice that one has a little divot in the top. These are the same part number. Just the one, this one is very heavily used. It's almost worthless. So what we're going to do in this video, oh here's another set. This one, this one is a new one, it's just a little dirty and this one, I don't know what I've done with this one, but it, I'm going to fix this one up for you too. So instead of going and buying new grinding sharpening bits, we're going to refurbish these into something that's workable. Now many times your kit will come with these uh, dressing stones. Here's a smoother one and uh, I'll show you just a few of them that I pulled out of my box here, my accessory box. So I've got quite a few of them right here. I believe there's three different grits that I have in here. So let me show you how to take care of this. I'm going to make this one usable again or regrind it so it can be used for a different profile. Let me get started on that. I'm going to back up the camera a little bit, set up my Dremel, and we'll get started. I have my Dremel Model 4000 set up in the Dremel Multivice. Now, there are several different ways that you can use to hold your piece your grinding accessory. But I'm going to do it this way. It might be the easiest for for video clarity. So um, if you'd like to see my review on this Dremel Multivice, I appreciate if you watch it. This is a great addition to your to your workshop here. So let me go ahead and uh, set this up. I have the locking Chuck here. I'm going to lock it in and just, whoops, let me take, let's, let's start with this one right here. Let me lock it in here. There we go. Now I'm going to use this Lowe's, to, it's like a vice grip. I'm going to use this to hold the dressing stone instead of using my fingers to hold it. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you do it, just so you do it safely. So I'm going to do it this way, and let's go ahead and get started on this. Let's see how it works. Okay, I'm going to grab the coarse stone, lock it into here. 
can plug in my Dremel. Okay, tighten this down here. Now you'll see on the Dremel, on the accessory, it has gold, it looks like gold paint on here. Let me zoom in on this. Let me turn on the Dremel. You'll see the, the not gold, it's silver paint that's on here. Not gold, I was saying gold earlier for some reason. Let me get this uh, dressing stone and let's get this silver paint off of here. Oh, I forgot to add, you can't see it in video, but always wear eye protection. Here's what I have. This fits over my eyeglasses. There we go. Not all the gold paint, uh, silver paint is off, but a lot of it's off. Let's try another profile here. Let's try this one that's right here. We're going to try this profile I showed you earlier. Let me chuck it up into this Dremel. Okay, I'm just going to make this straight edge right here. Okay, have it turned off. Oh yeah, there's not a concave in there at all now. Pretty straight. Let me do it some more on here. Turn it up the speed a little bit higher this time. Now I'm going to switch to a finer grid. Finer grit on the dressing stone. There we go. Not just like brand new, but close enough to it. Let's try one more. Let's try this one that's really jacked up here. Let's see what we can do with this one. Okay, go back to the, the coarse dressing stone. Clamp it into my pliers here. Hope you can see how, how messed up this edge here is here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Start out with this graining stone. I think I might just make this flat, similar to this one.
There you go. I think I might be able to use that for something else now. So, don't throw away your old grinding and sharpening stones. Use these dressing blocks to reshape, redesign. Maybe you'll come up with something that you need. Maybe you make it square, maybe round, maybe oval. Just whatever you need. Hope I showed you something new here. I appreciate you watching. And as a friend of mine says, have a good day and a better tomorrow. Thank you.